so you mentioned that you're, you grew up Catholic. Mm -hmm. So how has your family reacted to you getting into the adult industry? Um, so I grew up Catholic and I got baptized and did my communion and went to church a little bit. Um, but it wasn't super serious. Like they didn't like read the Bible and they were like, they were just like regular people, I would say. Um, but they responded to me dancing as a stripper. They were fine with that. Um, and then I slowly kind of talked to my mom about wanting to join the adult industry. And she was like, oh, like, are you sure? But they responded really well. And especially um, my dad, when he found out, he was like, I don't know, he just didn't really ever say much. Um, but, I, you know, I told them I was ha happy and, like, healthy. So I think they saw that and they were like, well... There's no harm done. And yeah, they saw I was happier than I was in my regular jobs. Mm -hmm. And making more money as well, which is always an added bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Do you um, find that having like that financial security has just made you like more confident about yourself and your future? And also like, what are your plans? Like, do you want to do porn for a long time? Do you ever like want to get into directing or anything behind the scenes? Um, yes, it definitely helps feeling more secure financially, which was always a concern of mine, especially as a dancer, because I was like, I can't work all weekend as a stripper, like forever. Like mm -hmm. that's just not, not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas this, it definitely has more longevity, longevity and, um, a lot more options. Um, so I love that financial security. I mean, it's still probably don't want to be shooting till, like forever, but I don't really think about that. I don't think yeah. about it too much. Um, you said you asked another question towards. If you were ever interested in like doing anything else in the adult industry, like moving behind the uh, scenes, directing, um, or anything else, I've always thought about that. Um, I don't really see myself doing that, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like I kind of just. Um, Go week by week. I'm like, mm -hmm. if I'm enjoying this, just keep doing this and save my money and invest it and all that type of stuff. Yeah, I yeah. think that, that that is key, saving the money and investing because people do come into the adult industry and they make a lot of money and they're like, oh, I'm going to buy every Gucci bag that's out there. And it's yeah. Like, yeah, you should treat yourself to things that make you happy, but also like save. Yeah. you may not be making this money forever for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's like an athlete. We only have like a certain period and then, yeah, you got to think about that for sure. Otherwise, I know you'll be back to working. Though I will say, though, that these days I have found that like there is so much more longevity for women that didn't exist 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see these women that are in their 50s. I mean, I interviewed Sexy Vanessa, who's 63, who's still working and she looks amazing yeah. and like she's doing great. So yeah. That's the thing. That's what gives me comfort. I'm like, it'll always be there. Like, um, you could, there's always a market for everyone and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like you can be doing that until you're that, that old or whatever. It's, it doesn't matter. I'm like, I can sell my scenes from when I was like 20 something when I'm mm -hmm. 60. Right. Yeah. It's always there. And well, and also too, with like, you know, budding technology and like Unreal Engine and the metaverse, you could also capture yourself exactly how you look now and animate yourself. For oh, no. Oh, yes. That's a thing. Absolutely. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, you can, to it, it's expensive, but you can do that. Oh my God. Yeah. I have to get the details about that. Yeah, I can, we, we actually, the company that I'm working with, we do stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> You could like literally capture yourself as you are now and then you could That's like, so amazing. You yourself could Scary. be doing scenes forever. If you go on YouTube and you search like Keanu Reeves Unreal Engine, um, for the Matrix they they did this. They captured everybody. I forget what it's called. It's a very specific kind of capture and it's very intense and um, you know, they have to get all these different facial expressions and stuff like that. It's not like the regular like volumetric video captures that we do for the metaverse that I'm working on. It's a more intense version because it allows you to reanimate somebody. But if you go on YouTube and search like Unreal Engine, um, uh, Keanu Reeves, you will see an example video of not Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves animated talking to YouTube and it looks like it's him, but it's not him. That sounds it's dangerous an animation. as well. Like imagine things they can do. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing though, like whoever captures that 
of you, yeah, would have to, it's all about, I think, being careful about who owns that capture of you, right? Like if you mm. do it yourself and you own it yourself, yeah, that's one thing. But Keanu obviously signed this over to the Matrix or whoever produced the Matrix. I'm sure there's all kinds of clauses in the contract to safeguard yeah, yeah, it and yeah, everything like that. Yeah, but, that have to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. I oh, mean, wow, that's crazy. Right? That's the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we had some, like, we missed, we're going to miss some of that, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. It's too weird. 